Hey everybody, we're back, and now it is time for us to proceed with the Spirit Temple as an adult. And the, uh, what you call them? The gauntlets actually equip themselves. When I, as soon as I went through the, uh, time warp back to being an adult, the gauntlets automatically equip, so. I'm actually going to change to the red tunic now, because they coordinate, it coordinates better with the gauntlets and it just sort of looks looks better, see? Look, the red and the red. The silver on the shield and the silver on the gauntlets and such. Works out pretty well, actually. I like the way Link looks with the red tunic and once he gets these gauntlets. Anyway, now we're back at the beginning of the temple, and I think these guys still... Yeah, they still are. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, I guess now I have to kill him now that I touched him. Way to dig into things. Way to go, Poncho. Yeah, get out of here, dude. Not to touch that guy. Now that we have the silver gauntlets, we can push this thing around and push it out of the way. Push. 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 There you go. Oh, great movie. Boom. Very nice. Oh, I'm going for that guy. Oh, gotcha. Oh, he's not one of the ones who closes. He dies, huh? He just closes his eyes. Alright. Shooting the switch on the ceiling. Seems like, a, seems like a good idea, right? That opens up the door for us. Dude. I guess the door on the right was already open, but oh well. Let's go left first, why not? Hmm. Oh! He got us a Wolfos. Dude, you really want me to come down there and get you? I don't think so, man. I definitely know what to do when I see a Triforce on the ground. That's been that's an ingrained response there. I'm trained. You know exactly how to respond to that. What's it gonna do for us? Ah, it makes a chest appear. And that is looking like it's gonna be the compass. Although I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. So I'm thinking it's compass. Ooh, can't wait to find out. It is, okay, it's the compass. Good, that's what I thought it was. I don't see any spiders down here. Oh, there is a wolf. I don't killing him would do anything. Did he die? No, didn't do anything. All right, well, no spiders. And I think you actually have to fall in order to get back. There's no other way to get up on top of this wall again. I'm checking very carefully for spiders. We know we have one in that big room that I have to get with the long shot. And I'll get to that. But uh, I don't know where the other one is. So we're missing one. Ooh, we may be in one of these alcoves here. I wouldn't be surprised at all. All right. Oh yeah, I just heard him. He's behind the block of time. I'm playing the song, get the block out of there. Oh wow. I played that song so sloppily I started to play it over again because I thought I'd missed it. And then it actually worked and I started I kept hitting buttons even after the song was playing. Anyway, let's get in there. Oh dude, I ran right into him. He's on the screen. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Alright, well that's four out of five, and we know where the fifth one is, so this is gonna be a hard temple as far as those go. Uh, weird camera angle keeps changing. It's confusing. How do I get to him? I don't have a hookshot point somewhere nearby anyway. Maybe I have to leap off of there and grab it. I guess that's possible. And when you're climbing on that thing, the, the boulder is just barely out of reach, so. Yeah! No? Huh. That's weird. I thought that was going to be it. Oh, you know what? We just need to be able to jump a little bit farther there. That's all we need. So I think the hover roots will allow us to pick that one up. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, more than enough. That was easy. Alright, tell me this is the last one here. Nope. Looks like when I played the song, I, I moved the block to a, an area where there was another uh, silver rupee waiting on us. So I gotta, I gotta play it again to get it out of our way. Yep, I saw it there in, in the cutscene. I love how they show you just a picture of a wall. I think it's a certain angle from where Link is. And so if you're standing in the right place, all you can see is a wall. Anyway, door's open. Let's go. Oh, we got us a little chest here. Dude. Dude. No. Dude, no. You're not about to eat me. That is not going to happen. One. And. Two. Two. Oh, my goodness. I hate life likes. Oh my god, they eat your shield, man. It's not even cool. Yes, Navi, I know there's a chest there. You don't have to fly into the chest. I want to know why she's doing that. That's weird. Is there something magical about this chest, Navi? Should I play the Song of Storms? Would that make you feel better? 
I don't know, as long as someone just makes weird stuff happen sometimes. Apparently not this time. Whatever. I'm not particularly worried about it. We have our small key. Now we can leave. And <laughs> now it's raining inside the jungle, too. That is so strange. Make it rain indoors by playing your instrument. I guess I may as well just leave these upper boots on. Why not, right? Alright, what now? Oh, we got some little pots. Dude, get away from me. Gotcha. Dude, no. Oh, wow, I ran over my head. Haha, uh -huh. you missed. Way to go, man. Way to go. Alright. Let's go ahead and climb up here. I'm surprised they didn't drop an enemy on our head right there, like they did in the water temple. All those spiders falling through the vertical holes and stuff. Oh, looks well, so we got a couple of chests up in here. This is a similar... Similar room here. Let's take a look at the map. I haven't actually shown you guys what this dungeon looks like yet. And I guess you can kind of get a feel for it, but it's almost symmetrical. Except for the top floor, which is just a puzzle floor. But it's almost symmetrical in that you go up the left side when you're a kid, and you make it to this floor before you go outside. And then you go up the uh, right side when you're an adult, and you eventually like find your way around a good number of the rooms. Whoa. What is it? Floormaster? Oh crap. I should kill that. <laughs> okay, crap, and I got the little ones around here, don't I? I think that the ones of truth will reveal them, so I'm going to make sure that I have that out and equipped. There's one. Two, where's the third one? I gotta get him before he keeps growing around. Alright, got him, good. I think that would probably mess you up pretty bad if you're trying to solve a puzzle without uh, doing that. Now here we have a mirror puzzle. Anybody who's played Wind Waker will know exactly what to do here. Although I think it probably would be more likely to go the other way around. As we turn this, light hits the uh, sun, causes a chest or something to appear. Alright, keep moving. It's dropping chests. I guess it's good. Everybody likes a good chest. And I don't know what that last sun would do, but it's not going to drop a chest, so I'm not going to mess with it. So we got oh, it's a chest full of ice. Man, I wasn't expecting that one in this temple. Let's see, we got another one. We got two of them. No. Nope. Oh, it's a heart. How nice. Your energy is recovered. You know what? Maybe I will check that last one because it could drop a key from the ceiling. That just occurred to me. Or not. I can't move it anymore. Now that I hit the right one. <laughs> okay. And is this guy gonna come alive, or is he gonna land on a switch down there? Oh, I mean, he's not gonna know switch him to leave him alone. No reason to mess with him. Okay, what we got up here? Another locked door. Can I make it all? Oh, hey, I see a uh, good spot to play a song. I say, if you don't know what to do, just do what you can. And I see something weird here where I can play a tune, so let's do it. chest down over there for us. How nice. I think I'm actually going to long shots of that. Is that going to put us within range of that spider over there? I think it might. Let's see, is this going to be our key that we need? It is! Look at that! I love linear temples, don't you? Can I see him? I know the spider's up there. Can I sneak over the wall and just grab him? I know he's right over there. Sometimes you can get a pretty big hitbox on these items and just sort of sneak over walls and like hit them where you can actually see them. Nah, not worth it. Let's get a pier point up there. That just sounds so awkward. <laughs> I've never gotten around to actually going back to... Alright now, you're, you're gonna do that and you're not gonna appear? You're gonna make me listen to this awkward version of the song and you're still not gonna appear? It's not cool, Pierre, man. It's not cool. Dude, I know you're up there. I know you're up there, dude. You can't you can't trick me. Maybe I need to be standing in a different place. I'm gonna go up to the top over here and see if I can get into a pier from here. I think this might be where they intend you to pretend, intend for your to, for your to be. This is where they intend for your to be at. There, there we go. Now he appears. Ugh, ran a heart. Look at how happy he looks. He helped the hero of time on his quest. It just makes his day, I guess. I don't know. What do scarecrows do at night? 
You know, in the old book, The, uh, the Wizard of Oz, the, the Scarecrow actually doesn't sleep. Uh, that's the last Gold Skotilla, BT dubs. So, uh, the Scarecrow doesn't actually sleep. Like, he just sits awake all night and just, like, waits for dawn to come. Can you imagine doing that? That would just be so, like, irredeemably boring. I mean, what could you do for, like, eight hours? I mean, I guess, like, <laughs> I guess you could do Let's Plays. You could record Let's Plays, I guess. Man, I could do, like, a game a night if I had eight hours to record. Man, that would be crazy. Anyway, in the next episode, we are going to open this small chest and jump on that switch. See you guys then.